Welcome to another episode of Denise Cooks for Diabetics. Today we are going to cook vanilla and chocolate cookies using almond flour and Splenda. So they're diabetic friendly. So we start out with four cups of almond flour, the, the very fine um, ground almond flour. Okay, one half cup of Splenda, one teaspoon baking soda, one quarter teaspoon salt, four eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, which I have in my eggs, and one stick of butter. That's for the vanilla. Once we make that, we're going to split it in half and add our cocoa powder, one quarter cup cocoa powder, and an extra kind of a quarter cup of Splenda because the cocoa powder is bitter and you need a little extra sweetener with that. Also, this is four, four tablespoons. So four tablespoons equals a quarter cup. Sometimes that's easier to measure it out. Okay, so we've got our butter, nice and soft. Now I'm going to make this all in this one bowl. I'm going to add my dry first. There's my salt, baking soda, and my Splenda. Hands clean. I'm going to mix this up with my hands. Get all that ready. If I find this dough is a little bit too soft, I might refrigerate it for a little while before I roll out the cookies. These are going to be hand, hand rolled not with a uh, cookie cutter. Okay, we've got that. I'm going to make a little well in the bot, in the middle of it. And put in my butter. You know, usually you cream your sugar with your butter, but it doesn't really work quite the same with Splenda. Plus, I like to do it easy, so I just kind of dump everything in. Okay, we're gonna save our cocoa powder for a little bit in a little bit. Get my flat my eggs and my vanilla mixed up. Okay. Let's start with a spoon, kind of work it in. And I might eventually go to my hands, probably sooner than later. coming together nicely. So this has very little carbs. Little carb in the almond flour, little carb in the cocoa powder. That's about it. And of course, grain free. Oh, this is coming together beautiful. Uh oh, a little messy there. I think I'm going to mix, to change to my hands. Try it this way. And I'm pretty sure that this is going to have to go, eh, maybe not, into the refrigerator. It's coming together really nicely. It's nice and soft. Once I get this mixed, we're going to split it in half, like I said, and we're going to add the cocoa powder and the extra Splenda. So we're going to have our, for our chocolate cookies. Okay. I'm going to mix this a little bit more and then I'll split it in half. Okay, so I've mixed my uh, dough. I separated half, this is the vanilla, and now this half I'm going to add my cocoa powder and a little bit more Splenda. This is going to, might be a little bit more dry, I don't know, we shall see. It's a little harder to mix it this way, but I'd rather do that than make two batches. To me it's just a little bit easier. So I'm just going to work this in and then we'll be ready to make our balls. Okay, so I've got my dough mixed up. Here's my chocolate, my vanilla. It does not need to be refrigerated. You might need to. It's a little cool in my house today, so maybe that's why. So um, I'm rolling them out like I roll little meatballs. And then once I put them on my cookie sheet, I've lined with parchment paper. My oven is preheating at 350. Going to cook them between 10 and 12 minutes, you see, depending if you'd like your cookies underdone, overdone, what kind of 
um, oven you have. Once I get them in the cookie sheet, I'm going to give them a little bit of a squish with my fork. Two ways, which is going to look very pretty. Okay, there's one with the vanilla. And there's one with the chocolate. Okay, so we'll come back once we've had these all cooked, baked. Hi, so our vanilla and chocolate almond flour cookies are made. They look delicious. That recipe made 17 vanilla and 17 chocolate cookies, about the size one, one and a half inches round, I guess. So I'll break it open. I wound up cooking this about 15 minutes to get them more dry in the middle. You might not like them like that, you have to give it a try. But they taste good. They're vanilla-y, obviously these. You can definitely taste the vanilla. They're a little chewy. Soft and chewy. I think I like the chocolate the best. They'd probably be nice with a cup of tea or coffee. You could dunk them. I'm telling you, if you're a diabetic, this is such a huge treat. I encourage you to use almond flour and try different recipes with it. Enjoy. Until next time, eat well, be well.